Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making an ice dyed geode shirt. The shirt was washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Then I wrung it out in my panda spin dryer and so it's just barely damp. I also have the shirt turned inside out. I'm just finding an area on my shirt where I'd like to begin a geode, pinching that with my fingers, pulling it up, and then I'm just going to start wrapping at the base of where I'd like my geode to be with some sinew and pulling it tight. You can put as many or as few geodes on your shirt as you'd like and you can make them as large or as small as you'd like. You can also put as many or as few wraps of the sinew as you would like. This is truly a design that you can make it your own. You can do whatever you want and make it look the way you like it. Now I'm finding another area on my shirt where I'd like to have a geode, pinching that area with my fingers, and wrapping it with sinew. I'm going to continue doing this until my whole shirt is tied up. Okay, so I have my shirt on top of a rack and I'm using some silicone cake molds to make myself an ice barrier around my shirt. I'll leave a link down in the description for where I purchased the cake molds. Then I'm using some clothes pins to hold my cake molds in place. If you saw my last video for a geode where I used the cake molds, I did not use the clothes pins and I kind of had a mess trying to keep the cake molding around my geode shirt. They work so much better when you use something like clothes pins to hold them in place.
Okay, so now I'm going to start applying the dye. I'm beginning with Plum Blossom from Dharma Trading Company. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that at the very end of each of my geodes. Then I'm just going to randomly sprinkle a little bit more of that several different places along the shirt. The next color is Orchid from Dharma Trading Company. Here again, I'm just going to randomly place that. Again, with the geode pattern, you can either make it very precise and try to put your colors in the same exact spot on each geode, or you can do more random designs like I'm doing. The next color is Royal Purple from Grateful Dyes. Silver Lining from Dharma Trading Company. What I like to do is I like to hit the internet and look for pictures of geodes. And once I find one that I think has an interesting color pattern, I pull out all of my color swatches and try to match the colors in that geode. I'm using Gunmetal Gray from Custom Colors. Now I'm putting a generous sprinkle of soda ash over the top. Then I'm going to layer on the ice. Now I'm going to put a sprinkle of Ecru from Dharma Trading Company over the top of the ice and set my shirt aside. Twenty-four hours after the ice on the front side melted, this is what our shirt looks like. As you can tell, there is some undissolved dye sitting on top of the fabric, but I'm going to go ahead and turn the shirt over anyway and add more dye to the back side. I want to make sure I get good color saturation throughout this shirt. It's such a thick fold. If it was a thin fold, what I might do is I might just go ahead and add a little bit more ice to the top and see if I could force some of that undissolved dye down through the shirt. I already have quite a bit of the dye coming through to the back side though, so I don't have to put a real heavy coat of dye on this back side. I'm going to readjust my cake molds. Now I'm going to add all the same dye colors to the back side, followed by a sprinkle of soda ash, another layer of ice, and some more ecru over the top.
I set my shirt aside and I left it for at least 24 hours after all the ice on this back side had melted. After I washed and dried it, here's what our shirt looks like. I'm really pleased with this one. I like the purple. I like the different variations and shades of purple in there. I like the blue that has split out. I also like the added depth that just that little sprinkle of ecru over the top gives. Listen, if you all are enjoying watching my videos, I sure would appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. All you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.